Okay, this is how you replace a battery on a 2009 Honda. Uh, this one here is a Honda Civic. Uh, basically what you want to do is you want to, uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go around to the car, you're going to go inside the car itself, and you got to look at the radio. The radio has that flashing light right here. That's a theft deterrent, which means that if you disconnect the battery, it's going to lose its memory and unless you have the code to uh, to turn the radio back on, you're not going to be able to get it to start. So what you want to do is you can connect up. What I do is a booster pack with a cable and I plug it into the accessory port where you would charge your cell phone or um, any accessory port at all. Turn the key to the on position so that all your lights light up on the dashboard. And then you go back underneath the hood. And now you can disconnect the battery without any, uh, any loss of memory. What you're going to do is you're going to take off this little plastic clip that holds the harness on like that. You're going to remove the other bolt right here which holds the hole down. Remove this hole down right here. screws all the way, you just unhook them from down on the bottom. And you remove your negative cable first. Loosen up your positive cable at the same time. Take off your negative cable, just push it to the side. Take off your positive cable. And you can remove the, uh, the battery on the car. This little plastic cover. We're going to be, re we're going to be reusing this. So we just take the battery out. Replace the new battery. the new battery, put your cover back over the top of the battery, push it all down, and you can reconnect your positive first, your negative last, and tighten them up. back on the hold down that we previously took off and I'll show you how that goes. What you want to do is you want to catch the hold down back underneath the battery tray right here and you see it hooks right in there and it hooks right up in the front right there and then we tighten it up
doesn't have to be real tight, it just has to hold it down so it doesn't move around inside the car. And last, you want to reconnect this bolt that we previously took off. Now if you did it correctly, you're going to go back in. If you did it right, you're going to go back inside the car and you're going to see that you still have all of your, your presets and you can turn the key off. And if everything goes well, your radio should still be working. That's it. You follow these important steps and you'll have no problem. Um, if there's anything I can do to improve the quality of my videos, please uh, let me know and like or dislike it. And uh, thank you for watching.